Well, Brad, the Breeders' Cup back at Keeneland. How fondly do you look back at the record equaling success that you had there two years ago? It was a great weekend. Uh, obviously, um, it was during COVID, but you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a huge crowd. But overall, it was a great weekend. Uh, very proud of our horses and what they accomplished, and hopefully we can uh, get back to the winner's circle this coming weekend. And last year, of course, you had Nick's go and mm -hmm. essential quality. Before we go through your runners individually mm -hmm. for, for next weekend, how do you feel about your group going in this year compared to the last couple of years? Well, two years ago, we had a really, really good group. We were able to win those four races. I mean, it was, when you look at it, all four winners I think were either first or second choice so they all figured um, last year I thought our group was you know good good group we had the favorite and the second choice I believe in the classic with uh, Nick's going to Central Quality was actually the favorite I believe in the classic so you know we're excited about what we brought last year to California um, I thought overall the group performed well Juju's map was second Central was third and obviously Nick's go won so um, I think we took seven or eight last year but it was a good group um, and this year I I'm excited maybe not as many uh, but overall a very solid group I believe so right now we have five runners um, and looking forward I think you know yeah you, you have to get a good trip in the British Cup they can all run they're all good horses they've all earned the right and the opportunity to to play at, the, at that stage and uh, you know we just need some racing luck and all the horses all five of ours are training extremely well and moving great well let's go through a few of them start with um cyber knife and he's dodging flight line and, and going to the mile is that a good distance for him yeah i think he'll handle it i mean he's got enough speed to be forwardly placed i think he needs to get away well um, he sometimes breaks, not really flat-footed, but it takes him a shot or two to get going. Um, I think it's going to be important to, for him to, to break and, and be involved, uh, not necessarily on the lead or anything, but uh, laying close there and turning for home needs to be in position. It's a short stretch with the mile run there at Keeneland, and um, you know he couldn't be doing any better. That's that's um, for sure. I mean, he's danced a lot of dances this year, but he just continues to to show up and train well and look great and very sound and just super happy with the way he's doing. Ultra consistent. How's he moving and, and how is he mentally? I Very good. He's moving great. Um, and, and mentally he's, you know, listen, he's a good feeling horse, uh, but overall he's, he, he's definitely slowed down with some of his antics that he showed as a two-year-old and early in his three-year-old season and it probably has a lot to do with just as many miles as he has on him experience. and. I remember back in the spring speak, talking to Al Goat about it. He's like, you know, is he ever going to overcome some of this stuff? And I told him, I said, yeah, I think just repetition is doing it, you know, and, and he's handled things really well, um, you know, as, as the years went on and uh, just super happy with, with the way he looks physically. Great. Yeah. Let's um, talk Lady Rocket in the Philly and Mare Sprint. And she registered some pretty good figs uh, last time out in a defeat to Kamari at, uh, at back. Yeah, no, no doubt, and that's why we're here. I mean, she, like you said, she, she ran a big fig last time. She's got a couple on her page that stack up with uh, any of these fillies and mares. I think it's a, you know, a, a good group of fillies and mares. Um, and it, it, you know, several, several horses could win this race. So I think she's gonna have to break and get a good trip, and and once again, and uh, just probably be forwardly placed. She didn't take uh, that kickback very well in the ballerina. We just kind of crossed that. Um, that run off and she did rebound well and perform well in the gallant bloom there at aqueduct she loves aqueduct i wish the breeders cup was there for her sake but uh <laughs> it's not and uh you know we'll see how things play out for her at keeneland she she has had some success at keeneland um obviously i think it's just a lounge race but overall she is familiar with the place and did some of her training there early on so um excited about giving her an opportunity again at the grade one level yeah and it's an open race a, an intriguing race really you got latruska obligatory echo mm -hmm. zulu so a lot of chances. Um, how do you think the race needs to pan out for her to be in the finish? I mean, I, I think she needs to be forwardly placed. It does look like there's some speed in there. And, you know, it's, it is, like you said, Latruska's, you know, she's a, she's a champion. Uh, but a little bit of a, you know, what's she going to do? Is she going to break running? And, you know, we're, we're going to have to get a breather at some point. We'll just have to see how it goes. Okay, Caraval in the turf sprint. A last out winner of the course and trip. And, and four from seven this year, but she's... Um, going to have a work cut out for her with a golden pal in the race, right? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, you know, look, after her last run there at Keeneland, she's in, obviously in the cell there at Keeneland as well. And after her last run, there's just not a lot of options for her moving forward over the next couple months. So I thought as long as she came out of the Franklin in good order, we would, uh, you know, give her an opportunity. And she came out of it in great order. She had an easy breeze yesterday morning. Wasn't looking to do much with her there at Keeneland on the turf. 
Um, and, you know, once again, she's going to have some racing luck. And if she does, she, she'll be in the mix. I'm excited about giving her another opportunity. She, she's doing great. She's a filly that we just kind of really just watch how she's, you know, eating, her attitude, and all that's really good right now. So super happy where she is mentally and physically. I imagine it would be probably fatal to try and match Golden Powell for speed. So what tactics there? Yeah, she doesn't have to be on the lead at all. Actually, I feel like she runs her best races just setting off a couple. Um, like she like she did at Saratoga this summer and also in her last run in the Franklin she kind of let two kind of get away from her a little bit set set, in the, set, set off a couple but um, overall I think that's her best trip I don't expect to be in front or duking it out with Golden Powell early uh, we'll just have to hopefully some of the speed comes back and see how it goes okay and uh, on Future Stars Friday in the, the juvenile fillies you have Chop Chop who looked to overcome a, a lot last time it must give you confidence that she can turn the tables on Wonder Wheel and, and be competitive? Yeah, no, she's definitely going to be competitive. Her, her work here this weekend was really, really good. Um, I think if she can break well, not necessarily not trying to take her out of what she wants to do and break and settle, but just break, put herself in position, she's going to be tough. I'm really excited about her. Her work here this weekend was, was um, really, really good. Super happy with how she's moving. How she come out of it? Um, as long as she gets a good clean trip, she'll be in the be in the mix for sure. She looks to have a bit of size to her. Yeah, she's a leggy filly, ton of scope. I mean, I'd have to think that you know. I mean, listen, I don't want to get too far ahead, but you know, you start thinking about a mile and an eighth here mm. in the future, and you know, maybe some of those races on the New York circuit could definitely be her thing as a three-year-old. Nice and and verifying in the juvenile uh, needs to turn the tables on uh, Blazing Sevens. Um, how much improvement is in him? I, I think there's a good bit. I really do. Uh, two really good figures in his, obviously, just two starts. If he takes a move forward, he's going to be a factor. Um, pretty steady horse, not super fast. Did show enough brilliance to obviously win going short first time. Last time was kind of stuck down on the inside. I think anyone watched the races that day saw that there at Aqueduct, you know, the, the track was wet. I'm, I'm excited about getting back on a dry track. And uh, listen, if I, I, I don't think he'll be on the lead or real, real close to the lead with what I think, how the pace is going to play out or how, how they break running. Um, if, if they back up a little bit, he'll, he'll stay on, he'll come, he'll come running. I'm excited about him. He's, he's a nice colt and he's moving great. Does he remind you of any of your, your previous two-year-olds? You know, um, watching him work, I, I mean, listen, I, I think he, he does have some similarities to essential quality with just how he continues on in his works he wouldn't be blazing fast but he'd be he'd, he'd be steady and keep, keep grinding it out nice be nice to have another essential yeah, quality in no the doubt. <laughs> yeah no doubt about that <laughs> all right well brad of, of your, your five breeders cup contenders who do you think's your best chance of a win i'd have to say right now it's definitely cyber knife i mean um just based off you know he's obviously a multiple grade one winner and uh just he, he's really thriving right now i'm really excited about him and, and i think he just gives us our best chance and probably our shortest but one of our shorter prices so um he, he's probably the easy pick but you know aside from the other aside from him i'd have to say probably chop chop and verifying and and then you know once again you know lady rocket huge field she's got she's got a chance and the caravel's probably i'm excited about her i think she's gonna run great but you know obviously running against the boys it's gonna be tough well, all the best. I know you'll have plenty of people cheering for you. Good Thanks, luck. Andrew. Appreciate it.